Rock 92 KFMA. The first known transgender athlete in MMA is a girl, now girl, named Fallon Fox. Used to be a dude. She is kicking the crap out of everybody. And she is going to fight, or she is either, she is vying to fight. I, I, I got to admit, I skimmed this part of the article, Shell. Do you know if she's vying to fight in the UFC or she's going to fight in the UFC? I know she's been competing. Um, that I don't know. It's just the UFC is the big, yeah, big, big league. Time. Yeah, that would be the big time. And, and, well, people are arguing about whether or not it's fair. Her deal is, is that, yes, woman now, and she takes hormones to keep that womanly shape. She, eh, she looks, what do you think she looks like with the cornrows? I mean, she is a fairly ripped woman. I mean, if you didn't, if you didn't see those boobs there, yes, uh, you might think she was a guy. I think she looks like Michelle Rodriguez in Girl Fight because of the cornrows. Chola girlfriend. She looks like Chola girlfriend. <laughs> Chola girlfriend. That's, that's, that's been working out seriously and dieting super hard. Well, everybody, I mean, she's been kicking the crap out of her, uh, her real female uh, competitors that were born with, uh, with vaginas, and people are wondering or not this is fair. Mm-hmm. Now, doctors say, doctors say everything going on inside of Fallon's body is stuff that takes place in a woman's body. Female, yeah. As far as the chemicals are concerned, and if you were just to take kind of a piece of that DNA uh, and analyze it, you'd be like, that's all woman. Yeah, and of- they're saying it's even harder for her, actually, because she has different levels of testosterone and stuff, and so it's harder for her to build muscle. Yeah. So everything that she, the, the amount of estrogen that she's taking basically takes away from her training yeah. all the time, which is unlike regular women. <laughs> what? I mean, in that, it, do, does, does estrogen, uh, do, you know, is it that hard for women to build up muscle mass in the first place? Let's uh, see your it's, guns. It's har- I Let's would see say your it's, tickets to the gun show. I would say it's harder than a, than a man's in general. Well, right. I've got pretty, pretty decent ones. Well, but my, I do parkour. My feelings on this is a little mixed. Like, I don't know... I don't know what the, um, the 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 frame like the frame that she obviously like as a as a dude she she looked like a pretty stacked dude I mean it looks like if to, <laughs> this this was a guy he'd be pretty ripped mm-hmm. um, I don't know if the, that frame makes up all the difference I guess I would I kind of bow to the scientists on this as in if they tell me that this is a girl then she can fight as a girl now where I. I get into a little bit of trouble is I was very much against the first transgender beauty pageant contestant. This story came out of Canada. Picture of a absolutely gorgeous woman Mm -hmm. who was formerly a man. Uh, People were wondering whether or not she could compete in the Miss Universe, the Canada Miss Universe competition. Donald Trump eventually said that it was okay. Okay. I am 100% against this. Really? Why? Yes, because it is a beauty pageant. And, sh- and you just said she was absolutely beautiful. She was, but none of it was real. Oh, I see. Like, if you're allowed to get surgery in yeah, a beauty they were pageant, saying, I mean, mm-hmm. and what, what, is, what, what constitutes cheating? Now, this woman, Fallon Fox, did she, did she cheat by being born a man? I don't think so. Doctors say that she's a woman yeah. now, so she hasn't sort of cheated that. She hasn't cheated the hormones being a woman. In a beauty pageant, what's the only way you can really cheat in a beauty pageant? So you're saying she's not a natural beauty, That's, and therefore it's, it's unfair. Yeah, I mean, what if you let all the women just kind of get enough surgery to where they looked like whatever they wanted to like look scary like? scary Barbies. I mean, what's the point of having a beauty pageant in the first place? This wouldn't be a beauty pageant. It would be a surgery pageant. I see what you're saying. All right, I can jump on that train. Here she comes, Miss Liposuction, Miss <laughs> Cheek Implants. <laughs> That's my issue with the whole thing. This guy, I think, has got an interesting point. Yes. The, the whole thing about taking you know, growth hormones and estrogen and stuff like that, that's exactly what they're banning in sports for for athletes already, and so now you're you know you're allowing them to take these you know these growth hormones or whatnot when other athletes are being banned for them. I mean, even in tennis now, you know, they're drug even, testing even in tennis. tennis. Yeah, and Fook was actually saying that off the air that if it were a woman. Be transitioning into a man, she would be taking a lot of testosterone and steroids and stuff like that, and she wouldn't be able to compete because most of those things you you absolutely right, the, can't compete with. Right. And, right, and so isn't going the other way the estrogen and you know or whatever I don't know what what it takes to become a woman, but uh, you're more emotional. <laughs> yeah, you cry yeah, more. But, no, but you, I was supposed to win. It was me. You hit me. Ah! You hit me. 
but, but you're a man, you know, now with an advantage in a woman's sport. Uh, yeah, I, well, look, I, I, estrogen does not do the same stuff testosterone does. I mean, if... No, like Barry Bonds never never took a buttload of estrogen and put on a lot of mascara. But no, so but so the other way it wouldn't work. This way it seems to work. But it opens up a door of saying, okay, now you're taking things that normally would be banned. I'm not disagreeing with you. Too many too many chemicals probably bad in general. Yeah, yeah for, like, for sports and competition, just about everything is banned in sports. Yeah. You know, you, you, you take aspirin and dude, stop totally it. totally valid point. I don't do boys. I just do girls. I just do girls. Lesbian Corner. Oh, I know our lesbian <laughs> corner is uh, Carmen, the official lesbian of the Fook Show. Hi, Carmen. I lose all credibility because I keep laughing at that stupid song. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. So um, what's your thoughts on the... By the way, thank you for... I stole the joke, uh, Fighting Trannies. Uh, who? What college do the Fighting Trannies play at? Uh, the uh, <laughs> oh, what did I say? Is it San Francisco State? The Cosmetology School of uh, RuPaul. That's right. <laughs> RuPaul Fighting their, Trannies. Their school colors are fabulous. I'll tell you that right oh, now. Oh, for sure. Um, so, how do you feel about? I know you're. I don't think anybody needs to or is is going to compare uh, being a lesbian with what transgender. People oh, no. who have the surgery go through, right. but right. what is your take on the "is it fair" question? I think honestly, when it comes to this, to the science of it, the, the guy you guys had on right now, he had a, a very valid point. There's a lot of chemicals; it really messes with you. Um, I have a lot of friends that have done the transition, both from female to male, male to female, and they're they're a wreck. Their bodies are going through some crazy stuff. Now that may help Fallon in the rage issue, but. You know, scientifically speaking, her frame, her body is that of a man. Now, because she's taken estrogen to become, have, like, more feminine qualities and things like that to help her with her transition, that's that's different stuff. But her frame, her body, the way she works out and builds muscle, it's still like a man. And so unless they did, like, a Frankenstein, take her brain out, put it in a female... She still has the advantage of having the build of a man, and that's going to be kind of tough to compete against her. But to be quite honest, the girls that like, fight UFC, I mean, they're pretty big girls. So I, I think they can take it, but there's definitely an advantage. She has the advantage because she has the, you know, her arm's length is like a, a man. But, uh, the oh, US, that's right. She's got man's reach. Yeah, yeah physical and attributes. Man hands and bigger. Um, man, yeah, man paws, man reach. So she, She's going to do some more damage and hit some more blows, but I was I was reading about this. The UFC. It, it sounds like you're kind of a fight fan, Carmen. Well, I really like Michelle's Mich- uh, Michelle Rodriguez comment earlier. I have such a crush on Michelle Rodriguez. That girl needs to come out, by the way. Um, so, are you a, are you a, you're a fight fan? So D-10. you can kind of drool over the female fighters. Not really. I I don't I don't like girls like that. I like a good fight. Like I'll watch a good boxing match. A friend of mine, he's a UFC fighter, but. Um, I don't, you know, I don't think chicks fighting is sexy. Uh, so so you're, you're not in a group of lesbians that gets together every Saturday night and watches pay-per-view. That's kind of a party that I... You're not the LGBT like fight club? Right. It's a different pay-per-view. What's the first rule of, of LGBT fight club? Don't talk about it. Shh. Shh. No scissors allowed. All right. Um, I, I got a question for you, and I know this is a little off topic. Have you ever been attracted... To a transgender person, someone who's done the transgender. A attracted, flip. be attracted. Yeah, I, uh, I have a, actually right so, now, I, I tell this all the time, my friend, um, she was, I've always known her as a lesbian when I went to college, and she was really cool, little, dicky little girl. She was great. She's begun her transition, and she'll post pictures on like Instagram and Facebook with the scrub showing the progressive. She's pretty cute. As a man, he is very attractive. Okay. And I, I've told him that. I'm like, wow, you're. You're kind of hot, dude. He's I, like, thanks, bro. I was actually curious about the other way around. Have you been attracted to a man that is now a woman? I don't think I've, I've seen a good enough tranny. I've seen some some good-looking uh, transgender women where I'm like, wow, girl, you're rocking it. You know, and you, you do the high five and good for you and get on the float. But there hasn't been one where I've been sexually attracted. Gotcha. Not yet. All right, Carmen. Thank you for calling. Until next time. Very good. Bye, guys.